guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Britt and this is Coffee and Makeup. Today I'm taking you guys on a tour of my newly reorganized makeup collection. I've consolidated everything into my computer desk so this area doubles as my computer slash editing station and also my vanity. So let's get started. Firstly I'll give you guys the general overview. Here you can see my computer and when I do put my mirror up in front of the monitor I'll take away the keyboard and sit that over in the corner. Um, you can see on the side here I've got a little plastic set of drawers that I got from Big Lots or some similar place as well as my lovely African Violet and all of my brush containers are on the far right. Unfortunately it's looking a little sparse today because I've washed basically all of my brushes yesterday and they're not dry yet. And then in addition to those storage spaces, I also use the top two drawers in my computer desk for makeup storage. So let's take a closer look. Here is drawer number one. For my drawer organizer, I used this metal organizer. I think it might be for silverware in truth, but I'm using it for my makeup and it works really well. So in the front of this drawer, I have all of my lip glosses and lipstick products that don't fit in my lipstick organizer, which I'll show you guys in a second. And then over here, I've got all of my powder eyeshadows. I tried to do a Roy G. Biv style, so I've got all my neutrals and browns, and then it goes from there, red, orange, yellow, yada, yada, yada. And then I have all my cream products right here. You can see my Maybelline color tattoos are a staple. Got some e.l.f. cream blushes, um, e.l.f. cream eyeshadow and eyeliner and this liquid highlight, which I just didn't have another place for. Then all of my face powders are right here, so I have this foundation from Sephora, um, these are some setting powders, under eye setting powder from e.l.f., I've got some bronzers towards the back, and then this is my blush drawer, I've got all my blushes here, some Physicians Formula, Milani, this is my Body Shop shimmering beads or whatever you call those. And then in the corner here, I have two little moisturizers that I use before I put on makeup. Both of them have SPF. And I've got my tweezer set and my eyelash curler up here also. Here is drawer number two. This houses all of my foundations back here. And I have two extra foundations in the back. Hopefully you can see everything all right. In the front here, I've got some e.l.f. eyeshadow sticks. These are amazing. Then all of my pencil eyeliners. My liquid eyeliner is here. Check out this glitter eyeliner from NYX. This is so cool. And all of my primer type things. I've got a mini Smashbox face primer, my Wet n Wild eye primer, and this is an e.l.f. under eye primer, and of course NYX jumbo eye pencil in milk. And in the back I've got some bits and pieces. Let me see if I can zoom you in for a closer look. Um, just some odds and ends here. I've got a sample of a tanner from Tarte. I have a mixing medium and also eye drops, which I use as another mixing medium slash foiling thing. Got a bunch of perfume samples, my beauty blender, and here's a sample of a DD cream, whatever that is, and I use it for a bronzer because it is so dark. And got a pencil sharpener, my... Um, refill inserts for my eyelash curler, etc, etc. And then, over here on this side, I've got my staple Meat Matte Nude palette and also a Paula's Choice sample set, which I haven't yet used because Paula's Choice has not been so good to me recently. Here is the bird's eye view of my smaller plastic makeup drawers. Top drawer is my mascara collection. All of my mascaras are here as well as an extra spoolie from an old mascara that dried out that I use for getting out clumpies. Next drawer is my BB cream slash CC cream collection as well as my very small lip pencil collection which I'm going to be working on building in the future. And the last drawer is all of my concealers. You can see that I've got some liquids, some creams, and everything in between. Right here are the few products that just didn't make the cut into my new makeup collection storage. The first is an Origins Vita Zing uh, Tinted Moisturizer. This was great for a while and then it got a little chunky and it was a gift so I'm very thankful for it but I think that its lifespan has pretty much been lived out. Then we have this e.l.f. 
eyeliner. This is their $1 liquid eyeliner. It's just so crappy. Um, I didn't ever really use it once I got it because, you know, it starts coming out really transparent. And I don't like that about it. Then I have two brushes from Coastal Scents. This came in the 12 piece, I believe, brush set. And these are the two natural hair brushes in that set and they just didn't last. Um, they're shedding like crazy now, so, and I've had them about a year. The rest of the brushes in this set seem to be doing fine, but these two are just shedding too much, which is a shame because I really like the shape of both of these brushes. And lastly, I found in the bottom of some makeup storage this Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation Sample and you guys may or may not know that this foundation does not agree with me in the slightest, so I am going to chuck that. Here is the last piece of the puzzle for my makeup storage. This is my DIY lipstick organizer and I got the idea to make this from the lovely Natra Cleopatra here on YouTube. I was going to use this as a drawer organizer and she suggested that I hang it on my wall and use my lipsticks as a kind of wall art, which was an amazing idea. So you can see in the top row of lipsticks that little black patch is actually Velcro. So I Velcroed all of my lipsticks into these little tray spots and all I need to do now is hang this up on the wall. I've already bought a hook to put on the back of it and I just need to find the motivation to take on that project soon but this is my lipstick organizer and it is soon to be on my wall. So this concludes my makeup storage and collection video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions about any of the products that are in my collection, feel free to leave those below and I will try to make a video addressing those. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you all next Monday with a brand new video. Bye guys!